Once you take the black, your past is dead. Welcome to the Night's Watch. Power and honor. Both have made strange partnerships throughout the Seven Kingdoms. When you play the game of Thrones, you win or you die. Cześć, dzień dobry, witam was bardzo, 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 bardzo serdecznie, serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku z gry o tron, kochani. E, co my tu mamy zrobić teraz? Pogadać chyba z tym, tym flintem. What you doing over here? It's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where Aha, to jest obrażony na kutera. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Aha. Not your fault. I wanted to come. To twoja wina. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Dobra, idziemy teraz, y, gdzie my idziemy. W sumie tam nic w tym, w tym szałasie już chyba nie ma. Jeszcze do tego paleniska przyszedł. Potem. Żeby odstraszało pewnie. Dobra, co mam tu zrobić? Z Kotarem nie będziemy gadać. Czy mogę tutaj pójść? <śmiech> mogę. Kulik. Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. A, poluję sobie. Never met a crow before. Sorry, I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats, and ice spiders, and the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Mind if I give it a shot? Go ahead. You know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I may do all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. <coughs> Tamtą stronę? A kicni. Uciek! Skurwol! <laughs> Is that what making do means? Czemu on uciekł? No Jezus. Teraz go trafię. Łe! Gra mi się zminimalizowała. No. What the hell? Co jest grane? Ja nie mogę nic nacisnąć. Ej no... Ej no... Co jest? Nie mogłem nic nacisnąć, nie? Well, what's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. Urwa, no dwa razy mi się gra zminimalizowała, serio. No bez jaj. You ever lost anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? Ej, myszka mi znikła. I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. <coughs> so you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. 
and I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. So it is real, then? I didn't say that. But it might be. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Bo może tam zostali. O, 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 o. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Garrett! Help! Kota! Oh, cholera. What the fuck? Look out! <coughs> Where? Zombie? Zimny zombie. Hehe. <laughs> dobre, dobre. <coughs> this looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out, day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. I've got enough gold to buy them all. Mm, I'd be careful flaunting it. O ja pierdolę. Zakryty posąg. Trust me. You don't want to get involved, Russia. Okay. <coughs> oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who should. Teraz mi to mówisz? Or fear. Or really any high-born pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> if they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can, but not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One, two. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, znowu mamy kontrolę. <śmiech> Cały czas mamy ten kieł. Yeah. 
Well, hello there. Uh, Amaya! Take her! You must want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. One that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Uh huh. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me, on all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. Hmm. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore. Why would we follow anyone ever again? The life you've led here is over. I've met the Mother of Dragons. She won't open the pits again. If you want to fight, we offer gold and glory! Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. Uh huh. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? <coughs> Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. We'll have to kill him. It'd be a shame to waste such a talented fighter. Perhaps if I just subdued him. No one has ever subdued him. Hmm. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Powalczyć, nie? Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. Hey! Serio? I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. Nie, no myślę, że chyba żartowała. You all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. Look, this wasn't my choice. I'm not here to kill anyone. Well. We all know that's true. <laughs> no. 
It's not what I meant. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best <coughs> fighter win. Uh -huh. The best would be me. To by się nie zdziwił. Yes, Kurgel. Are you ready? Wester Rosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours will be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. <laughs> Tą kikiem będzie walczył. For that you die slow. Last Pałka z kolcami? Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on. Nice. Dawaj, 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 się trzeba wyswobodzić. Nice. Look at this terrified boy! He fears his end! Och, ty w życiu! Teraz mi rękę złamie. To musiało boleć. Każe mi go wykończyć pewnie. A co teraz zrobić, cholera? The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. What? Jakie przemówienie? You for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and you will have glory and gold! If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! 
Chyba mi się spodobało. <śmiech> Co to w ogóle jest? Jakiś zombiak, kurwa. No to ci tam z zimy, ty, ty, te, te, zimne dranie. To on dalej żyje. Dziwne, nie? W łeb go trzeba, w łeb. O jasny chuj. Tylko go nie opluj, tylko go nie opluj. No dawaj, ku, czemu to nie działa? Naciskam, naciskam. Łe? Mówiłem, że łeb. Mówiłem. No nie tak, no utnij jej łeb. O, jeszcze lepiej. Chyba jednak nie. I do ognia. Oni się ładnie palą wszystko, no. Chyba nie żyje. O ja pierdolę. Masakra. Oj, co to było? Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You made it clear your loyalty was with Lady Marjorie. Yet now you hardly serve her at all. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace, but I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you've invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. 
A personal matter. I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. I have in the past, but I won't anymore. You're a clever girl, aren't you? Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. Think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what, I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. <clears throat> I'll be there in a moment. Go on. I'm surprised to see you here. You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What should I tell Roderick? Tell him what I do. I do for our house. Daenerys will eventually return to Westeros. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. You are your father's son, Asher. Kurwa jest duży. No differences. He would be proud. <coughs> I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. 
Asha. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Nieźle, nieźle. To jeszcze coś tu kurde. Little elk loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. Well, thank you, but I'd rather not. You go ahead. Nonsense. I insist. Cheers. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. I'm ready whenever you are. I doubt we'd get very far. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. No more lies. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. He'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Hmm. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie will understand. Cersei left me no choice. Let's hope she understands. Because absent her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. 
I have to give her a list of names. Tell her I'll call Shaga, son of Dolph from the Mountain Clans. Oh, and Timid, and Chella, and the, the Scepter who raised me, assuming she's still alive. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Łe, kurde. <śmiech> Właśnie nas tutaj nie było. Dobra, koniec, ja sobie spauzuję, bo już i tak jest 36 minut prawie, także to było na tyle w tym odcinku, mam nadzieję, że nie tak wam się spodoba. Ja wiem, że zaraz się kończy cały epizod, ale już nie będę przedłużał, e, dokończymy sobie go w następnym odcinku i tak jak mówię, to było na tyle. Mam nadzieję, że wam się spodobało, jeżeli tak, łapka w górę, e, no i do usłyszenia w kolejnym odcinku. Trzymajcie się, cześć!